Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us learn about legacy classes, guys. Guys, this is this is one of the most interesting and important topic in collections, guys. So before the introduction of collections, every kind of operation or everything is done using classes and interfaces only. So these are the few classes. Those are nothing but a dictionary, hash table, properties, stack, vectors, and these are the few. things that we used in those days which is before the version of java 1.2 guys so at that time we used to use these kind of things and after the introduction of 1.2 version in that we introduced the concepts of collections so once the introduction of collections all these classes or all these methods are updated guys updated according to the collections and all these are now called as legacy classes and these are redesigned and now available from the version jdk 5 and all of these will support the generic data types guys fine so the few package few things few things the, that comes under legacy classes are nothing but the dictionary hash table properties stack and vectors so there there is only one legacy interface that is enumination interface guys enumerator or enumination if you call it as enumerator also fine so all all legacy classes are synchronized guys fine okay so now first let us go through that interface only so enumeration interface interface is defined as a method to enumerate obtain one at a time through the collection object so this interface is superimposed or replaced by iterator interface so basically we use iterator interface to travel in an array or in a list or in a hash set or anything right so but in this situation we'll be using enumerator guys so however some legacy classes such as vector and property defines several methods in which enumerator is interface is used we'll be using in, the, in these two it seems fine so let us go through it once are we using yes guys So this is a vector example, and we are using enumerator here. Fine, happy? Yes. So it also specifies has many methods, guys. So now let us go through first. Let us go through vectors, guys. So vector is similar to array list, which is a dynamic array, which is synchronous or synchronized. So there are two differences between vector and array. First, vector is synchronized while the A array a array list is not synchronized fine so that's the first difference and the second is it contains many legacy methods where the collection it does not contain many frameworks guys so that is one of the difference and this is the creation initialization this is the creation with the size this is nothing but the creation with the increment capacity fine so now let us go through a small example guys so initially we will be importing i think the images are not so clear because it's on black background right so that's the problem okay just give me a second i'll be trying to fix it okay fine so it's a bit better now so import java.util star so after that we have created a class a test public string public static void main string arcs then we have created a vector we have added these elements to our vector then we created an enumerator en is equals to ve dot elements so all these elements can be accessed now by using this en fine so we have just written while en has more elements so in enumerator we will be having has more elements guys that's the method we will be using and to print the element we will be using next element guys so in that way we have just printed 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 right so now let us go through i hope everyone is clear with that so now let us go through hash table hash table so hash table is 100% similar to hash map guys fine however in hash table we are not having the key values nor values can be null guys that's the updated thing there is no more difference between hash map and hash table that is synchronous and whereas hash map is not synchronized guys fine okay so hash map has these three constructors guys if you want you can just remember them it's all up to you fine so further moving on let us go through a small example So I have told you that hash table is almost similar to hash map. So it is having two things, right? So we'll be just writing the same statements again and again. So hash table string integer h t is equals to new hash table string integer. So we have took at a hundred, at b two hundred, at c three hundred, at d four hundred. 
so we are initiating a set and here we are using iterator guys so while itr has a next so if it is having the next value then we will be printing the next value and we will be getting the key as well as the value we are getting both the values guys we are printing both the values right okay so these are the values at a 100 at b at 200 at c 300 at d 400 fine okay so now let us go through the small differences between hash table and hash map synchronized not synchronized it works really fast it works slower neither key it, any one of them should not be zero here they can be zero order of the table is not considered so it is considered here fine fine so now let us go through the properties of classes guys i think this topic is in, so important so we'll be skipping this topic guys fine so now let us go through stack table stack class guys fine okay so stack class is an extension of vector fine we discussed already about vectors guys so it follows the last in first out for the stack elements right is it start last in first out yeah it's lifo fine so we are having only a single constructor that is directly stack and we are also having the pop functions fine so these are the few, this is a small example guys we imported the files class name initialization we have initialized the stack we have pushed five elements into it we are using enumerator here so we have printed those five elements after that we pop up two elements and we also we are trying to display the all the elements after popping the two elements so i have told you that the latest things that came inside will be leaving the first things so these two are the last things so those two are not available in the after popping them so now i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so let us go through the last tutorial sorry the last topic of this tutorial it is dictionary class guys so dictionary is an abstract class it represents a key value and operator it is just like a map in which you will be not having any ascending order or anything it's just going to store them that's it so now i hope everyone got a small idea on all the things that we have discussed till now guys so in the next tutorial we'll be going through string tokenizers guys thank you thanks for watching